don't often order Waimai, but when I do, I order noodles. And when I order noodles, I order the best noodles. And I'm not only saying that because the character is famously so hard that you cannot find it on a keyboard because if you did, it would be just like a black blob. It is genuinely the best noodles and sometimes they cut them so thick that it's basically a deconstructed lasagna. Oily and delicious. Actually so oily that throughout this video you'll be seeing my lipstick gradually disappear. So let the two-step cleansing begin. So these are originally from the Shanxi province with a third tone or with two A's. We don't use pini in this household. But yeah, there are two Shanxi's. But enough about the noodles. So if you're working for a Chinese corporation like me, you just got back up on that horse and you are ready to chase those KPIs again. When the machine starts after the New Year's, it doesn't stop. It just rolls. So I did my overtime today, which I rarely do, contrary to the popular opinion, because I work for IT. And IT is famously bad when it comes to work-life balance, by which I mean all work, no life. So I start work at 8, which is quite unusual for my sector. People usually start between 9 and 10. But then I can leave the office at 5.30 and not like most people at 7. And within that time I have a 2 hour break for lunch. But that is just on paper. Because in reality, what matters is my KPIs. So there is this thing called 996, which means from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. six days a week. And back in 2021, Chinese Supreme Court ruled it as illegal. But that doesn't mean people aren't still doing it. Because it's you. You want to do it. You want to work those crazy hours. You put it on yourself. You want to do it. It's your idea. It's all your idea and you put it on yourself. This is a tangly mess, oh my god. Actually, maybe it's time for a disclaimer. I just got it in my hair. This is not me saying that every company in China is the same, or every Chinese company outside China, because those exist too. This is not me saying that you shouldn't enjoy your job. This is just me describing my current situation. I actually sometimes still enjoy my job. It's surprising, but I do. More about that later. <laughs> yes. Fun fact, the Chinese word for mokbang is tribuo, which is probably the most accurate word in Chinese language and I love it. So Jack Ma, the guy behind Alibaba, is actually in favor of 996. He says that if you don't put effort into it, then you won't be successful. So this is precisely what you're supposed to do. He also says that you should enjoy your job, which I guess we can agree is not always the case. Do you live to work or do you work to live? I remember having this conversation back in high school. Would you rather have a job that you don't really like, but it pays well, and then you have resources to do whatever you want after hours, or would you have a job that you actually enjoy and you like and it's something that you want to do but it doesn't pay as much? And back then the answer was obvious to me because I just don't want to do something that I don't want to do. Eight hours a day. I didn't take into account that once your hobby becomes your job, you will start hating it sooner or later. So here I am, years later, and totally screwed. In recent years, it's been harder and harder to find a job as a foreigner in China. Because given the choice, your Chinese employer would rather hire a Chinese person. For many reasons, but uh, the one I've been made aware of continuously throughout my job interviews is that they don't believe that I will agree to do over time. <sighs> Well, at least they are honest about it. If they don't ask you 
in your job interview, then you can still ask them and they are pretty honest about it. And I don't think this is an unpopular question or a taboo or whatever. Because this is just reality. But if you are a native English speaker and you are willing to teach, then you're totally good. Enjoy your long holiday. <clears throat> but yeah, it's better to be safe than sorry, because then you will be sacrificing your soul for the company and you won't even know. But it is getting better for some. So you know how the companies around the world are letting their employees work less and less because it's actually bumping up the productivity? What is happening in China too? There are companies that let you work from home and for example, you only need to come to the company when there is a meeting, all the bosses in town. And actually during the COVID era, when you suddenly find yourself under lockdown in the morning, then you get like one extra hour of sleep, which was great. And this is me speaking from a completely privileged standpoint because lockdowns were pretty horrible, but I will miss it. So despite having to work all those extra hours and extra days, I feel like my situation isn't that bad overall because I still find myself with quite a lot of free time. And I eat healthy, I manage to go to the gym, I still see my friends, preferably to play D&D. The best thing about the whole situation is that my boss doesn't really have a way to reach out to me when I'm out of office. So I still manage to have my life outside of all of that. But I feel like some companies still don't get that there is life outside the office. Because once every while I get a message saying there is this meeting and it's very important and it's big and the boss will be there and it's happening today. Dude, if it's so important, then you probably knew about it a week ago which was before I made my doctor's appointment or I got my non-refundable cinema tickets or whatever. Oh, and if your company is giving you a phone or a computer, this is a red flag. They will be coming for you after 7 p.m. Some people aren't as lucky as me. They will eat YMI every day because they don't have time to go grocery shopping. They don't have time for sleep or very little time to sleep. They will develop mental health issues without even noticing because they don't have time to think about it. And I get it, I was one with the Borg at some point as well. I was staying at the office until midnight because everybody else was. And it was my idea, nobody made me do it. But there has to be a time when you just say screw it and you stop caring because it's not worth losing your mind over. And social insurance doesn't pay for therapy, so. And it really helps if your coworkers are nice and supportive. I consider myself very lucky to be working with a group of very cool people. And this is where we enter the other side of the spectrum. Camping or lying flat. When you lie flat, you are not a part of the rat race. You just accept what's coming your way. You chill. You go with the flow. And if they punish you, then they punish you. It actually reminds me of the Taoist way. It's not that you don't do anything, it's just you don't put extra effort in it. You don't have to be the best, you don't have to do everything. You do you. And this is actually how I feel about the productivity that's being sold on the Western social media. I don't have to invest, I don't have to travel, I don't have to have my own business, I don't have to read a thousand books a year as a challenge. But then what you really have to do is chill. I haven't chilled in a long while and I really need it because if you don't chill from time to time then how do you know what you really want in life? If you can't be alone with your own thoughts for a minute then how can you make a single decision? I'm only smart because my anxiety got better lately but it was bad for a hot second. <sighs> but hey, we all do what we need to do. And I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't feel like it was rewarding enough. And I don't just mean the money, but yeah, the money as well. And I know it because I talk to my friends who work in different sectors. And I know I couldn't do the job that they do. I live for that sense of accomplishment that only a finished project can give me. And I hope you can find that sense of accomplishment in your work too. My noodles got cold.